Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In today's video, we are diving deep into the world of computer security. Specifically, we'll discuss Trojans, what they are, how to detect them, and most importantly, how to effectively remove them from your system. By the end of this video, you'll have the knowledge you need to keep your computer safe and secure. But before we begin, if you enjoy watching these videos and find them interesting, then subscribe to our channel because we bring the best videos for you daily. Also hit the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. If you want to master the field of cybersecurity, then Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity in collaboration with MIT is clearly the right choice for you. This postgraduate program in cybersecurity is designed to equip you with the skills required to become an expert in the rapidly growing field of cybersecurity. The cybersecurity program aims to help you stay ahead of all the latest cybersecurity trends. Key features of this program includes Simply Learn Postgraduate Certificate, Master Classes from MIT Faculty, Featuring Modules from MIT SCC and EC Council, Access to CEH Kit, 25 Plus Hands-On Projects, and many more. The Cybersecurity Certification Program begins with introductory level skills and then progresses to advanced cybersecurity technologies. This program covers all the essential skills you will need to become an expert in the field of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is indeed one of the top concerns of businesses today in any industry. From securing data to anticipating cyber attacks and placing enterprise-wide safeguards to prevent them, employers worldwide are increasingly looking for qualified cybersecurity professionals to join them. So what are you waiting for? Find the course link mentioned in the description box below and enroll now. Before we delve into the removal process, let's have a solid understanding of what Trojans are. A Trojan Short form for Trojan Horse is a type of malicious software that disguises itself as a legitimate software. Once inside your system, it can perform various malicious actions, from stealing sensitive information to giving hackers unauthorized access to computers. Trojans masquerade as legitimate software or files, tricking users into installing them. They often come bundled with seemingly harmless software or are hidden with enticing email attachments. Detecting Trojans is crucial to safeguarding your system. Some common signs that your computer might be infected are unusual system behavior. Sudden slowdowns, crashes or freezes can indicate a Trojan's presence. If you notice that your computer is suddenly behaving erratically, such as becoming unusually slow or crashing frequently, it could be a sign that a Trojan has infiltrated your system. These behaviors are often a result of the Trojan's interference with your system's normal functioning. Unexpected pop-ups and ads. If you notice an increase in intrusive pop-ups or ads, it could be a sign of a Trojan. Trojans often display unwanted pop-up ads on your screen, even where you are not browsing the internet. These ads can be highly invasive and disruptive, and they are a common sign that your system might be compromised. Unauthorized access. If you find unfamiliar accounts or activities on your system, it's time to investigate. If you notice that there are unauthorized accounts on your computer or you see files and folders that you didn't create, it clearly indicates that a Trojan might have granted hackers access to your system. This could lead to data theft or even remote control of your computer. Changes in files and settings. Trojan can alter your files and settings and even your browser's homepage. Trojans often manipulate files, settings, and configurations on your computer. You might notice that your desktop icons have been rearranged, your browser's homepage has been changed without your permission, or files have been deleted or modified. Unexplained network activity. An unusually high amount of data usage or network activity might point to a Trojan infection. If you observe a significant increase in your network activity or data usage and you haven't knowingly downloaded or uploaded large files, it's a sign that a Trojan might be using your network connection for malicious purposes. Removing Trojans Let's roll up our sleeves to start the removal process. Remember, it's essential to follow each step carefully. The first step is disconnect from the network. First thing first, disconnect from the internet to prevent the Trojan from communicating with its source. Trojans often establish connections with their command and control servers over the internet. By disconnecting from the internet, you cut off the Trojan's ability to communicate and receive further instructions, making the removal process more effective. The second step is boot into safe mode. Reboot your computer and enter safe mode. 
This limits the Trojan's ability to run and makes removing it easy. Safe mode is a special mode in which your computer starts with minimal essential drivers and processes. This helps prevent Trojans from loading their malicious components, making it safer to perform removal procedures without interference. The third step is identifying the Trojan. Use your system's task manager to identify suspicious processes. Make a note of any unfamiliar names. Access your computer's task manager and look for processes that use a significant amount of system resources or have suspicious names. Keep an eye out for processes that you don't recognize or that seem unrelated to your usual programs. The next step is backup your data. Before proceeding, backup your important files. You want to ensure you don't lose anything valuable during the removal process. Backing up your data is crucial because the removal process might involve making changes to your system that could potentially result in data loss. By creating a backup, you have a safety net in case something goes wrong during the removal. The fifth step is manual removal. This step is suggested for advanced users only. If you are comfortable, you can try manual removal, but this is best suited for tech-savvy users. Manual removal involves directly interacting with system files, settings, and the Windows registry. This can be risky if not done correctly, as you could inadvertently cause further damage to your system. It's recommended primarily for experienced users who are familiar with system mechanics. The first is delete suspicious files. Search for files that you suspect might be related to the Trojan. These files might be located in your system folders or temporary directories. Be cautious not to delete files that are essential for your operating system's functionality. Edit the registry to remove Trojan related entries. Accessing the Windows registry allows you to remove any entries that the Trojan has added. However, modifying the registry can have serious consequences if done incorrectly, so extreme caution is advised. The third is remove startup entries associated with Trojan. Trojans often add entries to your system's startup programs to ensure they run every time your computer boots up. Identifying and disabling these entries can prevent Trojan from launching. The last step is scan with reputable anti-malware software. For most users, using trusted anti-malware software is the safer choice. The first step is download and install. Choose a reliable anti-malware program and install it. Select an anti-malware program with a good reputation and positive reviews. Make sure it's from a reputable source and offers real-time protection, as this can help prevent future infections. Update the database. Update the software's database to ensure it recognizes the latest threats. An anti-malware program's effectiveness relies on its database of known malware signatures. Regularly updating this database ensures that the program can detect and remove the latest threats, including new variations of Trojans. Perform a system check. Initiate a comprehensive scan of your system. A full system scan checks all files, folders, and areas of your computer for any signs of malware including Trojan. This thorough examination is crucial to ensure that no traces of the Trojan remain. The last is quarantine and remove. If the software detects a Trojan, quarantine and then remove it according to its instructions. Quarantining a suspected Trojan isolates it from the rest of your system, preventing it from causing further harm. After the quarantine, you can review the results and then remove the threat completely. So these are the steps you should follow if your system gets affected by any Trojan. In conclusion, Trojans are dangerous and deceitful cyber threats that can cause severe damage to your computer and compromise your personal information. Armed with knowledge and the proper security measures, you can protect yourself from falling victim to these malicious attacks. Remember, always stay vigilant and take precautions when using the internet to ensure online safety. On that note, do you guys know that many individuals have attained high salaries and better career opportunities through a postgraduate program? So before we end this video, let's take a minute to hear it out from our users who have experienced massive success in their career. Hi, I'm Philip. I'm 61 years old and last year I upskilled with Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity after working 30 years in the IT sector in various different profiles. I'm happy to tell you that I was able to clear and pass my CISSP and CCSP certification exams on the first attempt after taking the course. The course, I must say, was packed with practical examples and was led by highly skilled and certified instructors. I worked with many companies before as a security analyst and an architect on a contract basis, but I needed some stability, which I got with the job I just started with Infosys as a cybersecurity consultant. Happened after I took the 
First and foremost, I've been a learner. Be a learner first. And with that, we have come to the end of this video on how to remove trojans. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any doubts or questions regarding this topic, then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And if you are interested in learning more about different technologies, then there are plenty of resources available at Simply Learn. You can also check out our website for more information on different certifications. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Till then, stay safe and keep learning with Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.